in the last two videos we covered about immutability mutability equals method what is the difference between string and string buffer okay up to that clear now the next case very important case right sir if i can take string s is equal to new string of durga string s is equal to new string of durga next string s is equal to durga what is the difference between these two things can you please tell the most dangerous point string s is equal to new string of durga string s is equal to durga what is the difference between these two things friends the most dangerous concept next uh, almost half an hour discussion based on this example only you require to listen very very carefully sir can you please tell what the difference between these two things string s is equal to new string of durga string s is equal to durga remember that in the first case okay in the first case two objects will be created but in the second case only one object will be created remember that in the first case two objects will be created but in the second case only one object will be created sir how where is the where is the difference sir like do you know whenever we are using new operator whenever we are using new operator compulsory a new object will be created in the heap area okay with the content of durga and the yes is the reference variable for this regarding with the content durga yes is the reference variable for this next uh, new string of durga new string of durga sir it is a literal right for every string a literal for the future purpose okay one object will be created in scp area regarding what is that scp string constant pool remember this one what is this scp sir string constant pool okay a new object will be created in scp area sir where is the reference variable no explicit reference variable but internally implicit reference variable will be maintained by the jvm then immediately mask sir what is the need of this one the need of this one is reusing same object for future purpose are you getting so two objects will be created one is in the heap area s yes, is point into that heap object and one copy will be created in a cp area for the future purpose sir what that future purpose simple point you should have reusability in the next level examples you can able to get okay well then immediately mask sir this object this object is it eligible for garbage collection or not no no because implicitly implicitly reference variable will be maintained by jvm if any object created because of because of string constant literal 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 implicit reference variable will be maintained by jvm this object is not eligible for garbage collection remember that but immediately you may ask sir this scp where this area is there until 1.6 version until 1.6 version scp is the part of sir method area method area scp is the part of method area or permagen are you getting right permagen permanent generation okay it is the part of method area or permagen okay right but uh, from 1.7 version onwards for efficient memory utilization sir scp area is moved to heap only okay in the heap area some part uh, reserved for scp okay in the in the permagen do you know method area scp is always fixed size but uh, once it is moved to the heap uh, now my scp can be expandable are you getting so just uh, because of memory utilization okay just uh, from 1.7 version onward this scp is moved to okay heap area only remember but old version it is a part of method area but not inside heap area okay well sir this is uh, just for internal sake but anyway you are not required to worry so here how many objects got created 
two objects got created one is in the heap area second one in the scp s is always pointing to the heap area right sir why this object placed uh, this object for future purpose what is that future purpose i will explain in the future don't worry about that okay well but in this case string s is equal to durga is it a lateral or not yes it's a lateral it's a lateral sir you know in this case in this case only one object will be created in the scp area in this case only one object will be created in scp area remember this one sir in the scp only one object will be created you see the reference point into that but anyway first jvm will check is there any object with the content uh, with this content already available in the scp or not if it is already there if it is already there then only then only sir then it is going to reuse the same object if the object is not already there then only a new object will be created and yes is point into that but anyway object creation in the heap area is always mandatory whenever we are using new operator compulsory new object will be created but uh, if you are going to create like this so object creation is not mandatory first jvm will check in the scp area do you have any object with this content or not if the object is already there reuse the same object so if the object is not already there then only create a new object that's all so what is the difference between this one and this one in this case total how many objects got created two objects will be created and in this case how many objects will be created sir only one object that uh, in the scp area that's all now sir why it is a second object placed in scp because the reason is for future purpose for use reusability purpose okay this object not having any reference is it eligible for garbage collection or not sorry it is not eligible for garbage collection because internal reference will be maintained by jvm itself clear sir in the last example just we had a discussion about the heap and scp object creation let me continue some more example so that you people can get much clarity right here observe i'm taking string s1 is equal to new string of durga string s1 is equal to new string of durga string s2 is equal to new string of durga string s2 is equal to new string of durga next uh, string s3 is equal to durga string s3 is equal to durga string s4 is equal to durga string s4 is equal to durga that's all can you please tell just because of this line how many objects we got created hey you respond just because of this line how many objects got created how many are there in the general heap how many are there in the scp area please confirm total how many objects got created is it only one object or two object or three or four r5 <laughs> are you getting r5 r6 how many how many will be there in the heap area how many will be there in the scp area yes everyone should have some guess in your mind so that you can able to understand the answer very clearly if i start explaining can you please guess how many are there in the heap area two how many are there in the scp area huh <laughs> remember okay just uh, let me start explanation so that you people can feel more comfortable right here do you know observe first line heap area scp area now legend legend there are some conclusions also i want to talk string s1 is equal to new string of durga whenever we are using new operator compulsory a new object will be created in the heap area remember compulsory a new object will be created in the heap area that's why durga durga s1 is pointing to heap next uh, it is a literal literal right for the future purpose one copy will be maintained in scp area scp area right okay well sir just because of first line how many objects got created two objects got created one is in the heap area second one in the scp area 
Now string S2 is equal to new string of Durga. String S2 is equal to new string of Durga. Sir, now whenever we are using new operator, compulsory new object will be created, sir. In the heap area, a new object will be created, S2. Next, uh, this uh, copy has to place in the SCP. But in SCP, with this Durga content, already object is available or not? Yes, if it is already there, we are not required to place. Remember this one, already there, we are not required to place. Okay, second line also completed. String S3 is equal to Durga. Where I required to create this object? I told already in the last example, where I required to create this object in the SCP area. But in SCP area, object creation is always optional. First, JVM will check. Is there any object already, already, point already huh, having the same content or not? If any object already having the same content, then existing object will be reused. Huh? It won't create new object. That's why string S3. S3 is also pointed to Durga. String S4 is equal to Durga. S4 is also pointed to Durga. Are you getting? S4 is also pointed to Durga only. Now, can you please confirm? Total, total, sir, how many objects got created? Only three objects got created. One is in the SCP area, two objects in the heap area, right? So, the conclusion is, whenever we are using new operator, compulsory, a new object will be created in the heap area. That's why there may be a chance of existing two objects uh, with the same content in the heap area. Yes, this is Durga Durga, same content, uh, but there is no chance of existing two objects with the same content in the SAP area. Remember this one, sir, in the SAP area, with the same content, only one object will be there, same object will be reused uh, multiple times. Uh. So, internally, memory will be saved, uh, memory utilization will be improved, right? Clear? Now, your knowledge about SAP and HEAP uh, from 0 to 20 percent prized. I am sure if I will go for two more, two or three more example, then you will get much clarity. Don't require to worry. Up to this clear? Sir, the next example related to HEAP and SAP, I will look once. String S is equal to new string of Durga. String S is equal to new string of Durga. Yes, dot concat of software. Yes is equal to yes dot concat of solutions. Okay, well, can you please tell total how many objects will be created? In the heap area, how many there? SAP area, how many there? Can you please? Yes, friends. Can you please tell total how many objects will be created? How many present in the heap area? How many present in SCP area? Yes? Okay? Well, so compulsory you people should have some answer in your mind. Okay, maybe 3, 4, 2, 4 or 6, 4, something like you should have some clarity. Okay? Now, have a look once. Heap area, general heap and the SCP area. First line, String S is equal to new string of Durga. Wow. This one, not required to keep any explanation. Even in the last two examples also we covered. S is equal to new string of Durga. One copy will be created in the heap area. For the future purpose, another copy will be created in SCP area. Okay, well, Durga, like this. S dot concat of software. S dot concat of software, software, like this I am taking. Sir, do you know, yes sir, dot concat of software, here observe, software is a string lateral, software is a string lateral, lateral. for every string lateral, one copy will be created in the string constant pool, because the name have you observed, string constant pool, it is a string constant, string lateral means a string constant, for every string constant, one copy will be created in the SCP area. That's why first uh, software will be created in the SCP area. Okay? Software got created in SCP area. Okay, well. Next, yes sir, dot concat of software. Do you know? So, yes sir, dot concat of software. Already, what is yes? Yes, Durga. 
concat of software durga software do you know so string is immutable you can't change the content if you are trying to perform the change compulsory new object will be created do you know because of run time operation maybe method of call because of run time operation if an object is required to create that object is always going to create only in the heap area but not in scp remember this one sir sir i call concat because of that a new object will be created run time operation if an object got created that the new object will be created only in the heap area but not in scp scp meant for string constants string literals not because of run time operation created objects sir now yes dot concat of software yes is already durga durga software a new object got created are you getting durga software a new object got created right okay for this new object do you have any reference variable no 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 we are not assigning to any reference variable that's why this object eligible for garbage collection okay anyway it is eligible for gc next uh, s is equal to s dot concata solution see there s dot concata solution solution solutions uh, is a constant string constant compulsory one copy will be there in the scp area okay solutions uh, is a content is a is a one copy will be there in the scp area because it is a string literal right for every string literal one copy will be created in scp for the reusability purpose next uh, yes sir dot concat of solution yes is always point into durga durga dot concat of solutions uh, now durga solutions will be created a new object because of run time operation if an object is required to create that object is always going to be placed only in the heap area next uh, this uh, result uh, we are assigning to s we are assigning to s now one word this s uh, is pointing to this object are you getting now one word this s is pointing to this object if you print s happily you are going to get durga solutions that's all can you please tell total how many objects got created how many there in the heap area how many there in the scp six objects got created because of this code three present in the heap area three present in the scp and uh, these are two objects eligible for garbage collection only this object not eligible for garbage collection in the heap anyway these are not eligible for gc because implicit reference variables will be maintained by jvm now are you getting clarity okay i hope just to take a bit special care so for every example you are going to learn some new thing maybe after one or two examples yes all the things are going to be completed then you will get much clarity about this concept clear for all of you right but keep on listening very important